back with another review something you may be interested in if you're building a mess kit so please stick around was working um, I'm always revising looking at what I use for a mess kit things like that and I wanted a better way of carrying salt and pepper and other spices with me when I'm out and for a very long time I used uh, little Tic Tac containers <laughs> you know stuff like that an old hack and, but I decided I really wanted something else and when I was a kid they used to make these lids for 35 millimeter film canisters where you could turn a 35 millimeter film canister into a salt and pepper shaker uh, I believe it was Coolgan or Coleman probably both of them used to make those well since digital cameras are a thing now and film is practically dead not only is it hard to find 35 millimeter containers apparently nobody makes those lids anymore I can't find them anywhere and I looked well I was perusing Amazon and I found these from Hall Bros and I gotta tell you Morgan Utah far as I can tell yep made in the USA right there let me tone that down there we go yep made in the USA you know packaging isn't super special let me pop these out of the packaging all right and these aren't very big because my mess kit I don't want anything super large yeah I think that'll work oh yeah that lid is on there super tight <laughs> snaps on there very positively so it looks like we're pretty good there all right let me give you some specs before we carry on from the actual Amazon page link in the description so these are salt and pepper shakers moisture proof lids you can get them from two pieces to five pieces and BPA free plastic strong long lasting dishwasher freezer and fridge safe too I don't know well I guess yeah with some spices you want to put it in the freezer to maintain them yeah, color coordinating lids, transparent transparent body, blah blah blah. One inch by one inch, so they'll be perfect for whatever spice you put in them. Yeah, these are the small ones. And to give you an idea on size, here is a coffee creamer, a French vanilla coffee creamer. Which, by the way, I did a little video on whether or not these things freeze in the outdoors. You might want to check that out. And... <laughs> It's pretty close to the size of a coffee creamer. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, they're not big at all, which is what I wanted for an outdoor mess kit. Now, whether or not these hold up long term, we will see. But this is just an initial impressions review. You know, I gotta like what I'm seeing. They look really well made. So... All I needed really was a salt and pepper, but I decided to get the five piece because I have two different kits I, I want to do together. And that'll give me like a, a spare shaker in case I lose or smash one or something. So cost on these shipped when I got them was $11.65 
for the five piece. However, in just a short amount of time, the price has creeped up. Isn't inflation wonderful? Now they are listed at eleven ninety nine. So you'd have to add shipping to that. Who knows when I post this, the price might even be higher for the five piece set. I love inflation and this messed up economy. <clears throat> oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? Anyway, so like I was saying, you're building the mess kit, you know, Cooking outdoors is, to me has always been one of my big enjoyments. I like food, I like preparing food. And for me, usually all I carry is salt and pepper. That's it, I don't carry anything else. Unless it's a special dish that requires it. And then I would carry that separately in something. So I think this, you know, they fit in your hand, would just be ideal for my revised mess kit because I'm getting rid of those Tic Tac containers, mainly because those Tic Tac containers, after a while, they become kind of, I don't know if it's the plastic, but they become kind of fragile. And I ended up opening my uh, mess kit a few times and found them broke. And then I got salt or pepper all over the inside of my mess kit. Lovely little mess. <laughs> no pun intended. Anyway. So we're gonna give these a try. There'll probably be a later video where I'm gonna show you one of my mess kits with these and uh, down the road we'll see how they hold up. But initial impressions is pretty good. They, they feel really sturdy, you know? And those lids seal really tight. And this isn't a hard plastic. This is more of a, a flexible plastic. It's got that big protrusion to go in there, and you can feel that seal. And then around the body here, that seal's nice and tight. They say it's moisture proof. I tend to believe them, which is something you really want if you're caught in the rain, which happens. <laughs> so, like I was saying, if you're in the market, you might want to check them out. You might want to get a two piece. They offer two-piece, three-piece, four-piece, and five-piece sets priced appropriately. Well, that's all I got to say on the Hall Brothers salt and pepper shakers or spice containers. I will see you. That's right. I'm talking to you later out in those woods, or maybe I won't. But hey, I'm glad you stuck around to listen to me.